Do you think Kyle Shanahan values Brandon Ayuk the way he did, let's say, Julio Jones? Because I've heard him fawn over Julio Jones. I've heard him fawn over Andre Johnson, guys that he's had in the past. Do you think he views Ayuk currently on on the same level as those guys? Possibly. No, I'm serious. I don't know. I don't know, but I did I did a deep dive on Shanahan and the receivers he's had in the past. So first of all, he grows up as a kid. He sees Ed McCaffrey and Rod Smith. Rod Smith, undrafted, one of the greatest undrafted stories in the league. All right. So you, you, one of your first gigs as wide receiver coach OC with the Texans, you have Andre Johnson. First ballot Hall of Fame talent. Uh, talent wise, coming big out. Big yeah. X receiver. Ridiculous. Blocks, yeah. catches, runs every route. Super Just stuff. a stud. Yeah. Cleveland, if I'm not mistaken, Josh Gordon was there. Mm-hmm. Josh Gordon had his best season ever God, with he was so good. Kyle Shanahan. Woulda, coulda, shoulda. Right? Yeah. I believe so. I, I may be the year after. Maybe I could well, be let's wrong roll on with that it one. For, for storytelling's sake. But Julio Jones, for sure. Come on. And he had Muhammad Sanu, who he always liked. And he brought Muhammad Sanu here to San mm-hmm. Francisco. He mm-hmm. loves those type of receivers. Mm-hmm. So I have a feeling that Pierre Garcon. Shanahan, Pierre Garcon. A bigger guy. A yep. bigger guy. Shanahan. Loves, loves Ayuk. I don't know where Shanahan is at with this one. We haven't heard from him. He wasn't at the podium the other day. Yeah. He doesn't go to combines. You know, he kind of sits back and chills. And wide receiver is the position he played in college. He's very particular. It's it's just, it's really interesting. He He's... He's fickle with these wide receivers. Like, there are certain guys. Dante Pettis comes to oh, mind. We got, Dante, what? Oh, oh, we got breaking news here. Should we hit the sounder? Should we hit it here? Because this is going to pertain to Brandon Ayuk. Okay. Here we go. 95-7 the game. Breaking news. <laughs> Speaking of wide receivers, the Detroit Lions have a deal. They've agreed to an extension for Amaran St. Brown. He gets a four-year deal with $77 million guaranteed. Whoa. And he gets $120 million, Whoa. Making him the highest paid wide receiver in all of pro football. Amarase Brown, Detroit Lions, was an absolute stud. Wow. Gets four years and more than $120 million with $77 million guaranteed. He's now the highest paid receiver in the NFL. How do you think teams around the league view the, the conversation between Ayuk and Amara St. Brown? Amara St. Brown's a stud, man. He's an absolute stud. So that's almost exactly 30, AAV, $30 million a year. Let's, because you didn't, I don't know, is it 129 well, or 120? 120. Said more than 120. Okay, so let's just go off. Of, $77 million. You're looking at 30 mil, right? 30 yep. mil per year. 77 guaranteed. So that's 16 or so, 26 or so more than. Um, uh, Devontae, you look, at produ- wow. you look at his production last year. He's a now, slot, power slot guy. Yep. Now he's going to do all the dink and dunk stuff. Exactly. He's a beast. So the last two years, you know, he's been in, been in the league three years now. So they're taking care of their own a year early. He was out of USC, obviously, a stud out of USC. Um, he was drafted. Where was he drafted? He was a fourth round pick. Fourth round pick, Amaran St. Brown. Fourth round pick. Goes 90 for 912 his rookie year. He goes 106 for 1161 his second year. Last year, 119 receptions, 1,515 yards. That's a pretty monster season. Monster season, 12.7 yards per catch. Now, don't forget, Ayuk had 19.7 yards per That's catch. That's incredible, too. It's incredible, too. So, where's Ayuk at now? I think he's in between the – somewhere in between – the, the two numbers, as in the Devontae Smith number, and I, I think Devontae and him are so alike in terms of production and, and how th- they're going to view, and I'm that that's not disrespect to either guy. I, I hold them both in high regard. So I think he's in that 25, 26, 27, 28. I don't think he's going to get 30. Do you? No. No. So n- now that you've heard that, more or less likely that he gets moved? More or less likely they get a deal done here? I don't know. I don't know. But it just kind of goes to the point that Detroit, we're talking about team building and giving wide receivers yeah. money. Detroit's like, we need wide receivers. We need playmakers. Yeah, but they, okay. need, but they don't have high-end. They're, they're, high end they're not paying they're not, a defensive player $120 million. Not yet. They're not paying another wide receiver $28 million. They're not paying their left tackle $30 million. Goss on them books for a lot of money. 
Golf's on the books for a lot of money. Is it that deal? About I mean, the, he's the, one guy. The, that deal about the win. So they I mean, got a lot of young they guys. They have a middle linebacker right now who's man to make 20 something million in, in, right. the, in Fred Warner. Like, I, I just think that I looking at where Detroit's no, so at different. financially versus so where different. the Niners are very different. But it shows you, though, that they're saying, hey, we're keeping our outside weapons. We need to protect Jared Goff and supply him with this mini web. Look at what they did last year. They took a first round. They used their first round pick on Jameer Gibbs and everybody crushed them. Well, they for traded it. down. They trusted. And they, they got two them. picks. But they did get yeah. two picks, but they crushed them for it. And they got Jameer Gibbs in the second but round they, yeah, and Gibbs. They, but they crushed Gibbs. Oh, I'll they take Gibbs them, all day. But they crushed him for taking him in the first round. And then they signed David Montgomery. Yes. They signed David Montgomery. So they were adding offense and saying, we need to be explosive here. We need to score, score, score. While our defense tries to catch up here. So Goff is in the last year of his contract. Last year What's he making? Twenty six salary, twenty two million. Twenty two less than million dollar cap hit. Wow! Yeah. It's all the big money deals. So they're they may. What and are it, they going to do with and golf? Hutchinson's going to be the next guy you would think with the big. Well, he's got another gonna do, year. What are they going to yeah. do with golf? What are they going to do with Jared Goff? They draft somebody this year in the mid to late rounds and well, see what happens with Goff. The Lions draft a quarterback. Yeah, that's one. I mean, they're a team like Penix would be a nice fit for them indoors. You know, with that oh, kind of weaponry, Penix would be great. For right? Like oh. that. See, he's that's gonna a, be a Raider, guys. Come on. Okay. Well, I mean, if if Antonio Pierce is a dedicated to the Raider way, which is throwing the ball deep down the field like Al Davis liked, then yes, Penix is the guy. We'll probably get Bonex. <laughs> oh. So the Amara St. Brown deal—that's an interesting one. I. I I think once those numbers come out, yeah, I, I don't know. I don't know. Like, I think now you've kind of, you've kind of suppressed. Now we're in the in the middle zone. Like, Ayuk's not going to get more than that, but he's definitely not going below what Devontae's so, getting. So he's got either going to equal or go higher. What did Devontae get guaranteed? It was fifty-two million. For, fifty-two million guaranteed. Five this guy years, got seventy-seven. It, yeah, seventy-seven, which is a lot of money. Uh, five years, ninety-one million for Devontae, uh -huh. if I'm not mistaken, and a, a fifty-two guaranteed. That to me is the baseline. Would you be willing to give IU fifty million guaranteed? Guaranteed. Now here's TJ Husmusada on Ayuk's argument to San Francisco on why he should get paid. Yeah, he's thirty first in the league in catches because he doesn't get as many targets as other guys. <laughs> and so he he can say, if you give me the targets that Justin Jefferson gets, I wouldn't be thirty first in the league. And so you can counter that I'm thirty first in the league, but am I thirty first in the league in yards? So just imagine if I had more catches, what I would do with it. And so there's always counter arguments to whatever they're going to argue. That was with Willard and Dibbs. Here's his former college coach, Herb Edwards, yeah. real quick on yeah. uh, Willard and Dibbs about the contract with Brennan Ayuk. I think both parties realize they need each other, and, and it'll, it'll get done. It'll, it, it'll, it'll be ugly at times, but I think at the end he'll be a 49. It's interesting. Um TJ Usman was talking about targets. Is he ever going to, like, is any wide receiver in this offense ever going to be a 150 target guy? Probably not. Yeah. Because Shanahan wants to run the ball. Yeah. What does Shanahan always say? We 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 had uh, Greg at Daily City bring it up. You brought this up. What's the Niners' identity it's offense? Run the ball down your throat. What is it? Yeah, that's that's always going to be their identity. Everything in the passing game is predicated, predicated off the play the action. Yes. They want to get the 30 carries. Agreed. Because that's an indicator that they're leading exactly. or winning in the football game. Almost like a math equation. They want to get the 30. So that's that's number one with this offense. So a wide receiver, if you do want to get multiple targets and you want to be like CD Lamb and you want to be like Amara St. Brown, this ain't the place for that. <laughs> yeah. So to to close up the loop on Devontae, three year extension, seventy five million, fifty one and, and change guaranteed. Wow. wow. So it's only three for seventy five extended. That's interesting. Wonder if Ayuk would do that. Fifty-one million guaranteed with the or approximately that that deal. Yeah. Twenty-five million a year. I mean, look, if the Niners could could make it work, I'd love to have that. You know, the guy come back on that deal. It just feels like they were unwilling to do that. Yep. Um. So yeah, I I I don't know what you do here with Ayuk. We're going to talk to Kyle at nine twenty.